Hi everyone, it's Danielle. I'm back again to do another tutorial. This is actually going to be a review and a tutorial on the Revlon Photo Ready um, foundation. And this is in number two. This is in vanilla. And I want everybody to say hi, hi. to... This is my little boy. His name is Aaron. He's going to be five in February. And he's sitting with me to help me. <laughs> So let's get started out today and see how that goes. So basically what I'm going to be doing, I already cleaned my face with witch hazel. I've already put my lotion on and my primer. So basically what we're going to do is I think I'm just going to pump like two pumps of this onto the disc like that. And then I'm going to be taking, this is a Sonia Kashuk um, concealer brush. And I'm just going to be placing this in spots on my face where we need to do this so just like that all the way around I love you too and I'm going to be taking I'm going to show you in a second let me just get this on there a little better because you can always add more of this um, I'm hoping that this vanilla is the right shade. I bought it in two shades, and I know the, one, the, the other shade is definitely way too light for me. Basically, I'm going to be taking, this is a Sonia Kashuk um, flat, I'm not sure what brush they name it as, but it looks like this, and it's really, really, really soft, and it's, it's going to help me buff in the foundation onto my face. So basically, I'm just going to make circular motions with this brush all along my face. See how it's just buffing it in there really, really nice? And the consistency of this stuff is really nice. Um, it goes on smooth, as you can see. And I'm just making circular motions just to get it to buff it into my skin. And it is looking very natural, which is something that everybody definitely likes. Because I know I don't want to look like I'm wearing 10 pounds of, of makeup when I don't have to. And I think that using... The concealer brush first to put on the foundation like this and dipping it into the foundation and placing it where you need it and then using the other brush is definitely going to save you on product because you know um, that two squirts was actually way too much so that's a good sign because you know um, foundations are expensive and you know you don't want to waste what you have so that's why I thought that putting it on the CD was a really great idea you know it's like a almost like a palette so and basically I'm just gonna be or he's gonna buff it onto my skin so everyone can see that circular motions circular motions uh, circular motions okay let me see it okay let me see it okay thanks let me see it Okay, thanks. <laughs> we are taping this. <laughs> so basically, I'm just buffing it into the into my skin. That's him waving at you guys. <laughs> and it actually is giving me like a really flawless finish, and I'm really excited about that because I'm not. Sure. This is Boinging from Benefit. It's their concealer, and this is in number two. And I'm going to be using this for my concealer. Not that I have a lot to conceal, but I do, um, I'm just taking, this is a really fluffy Smashbox brush, and I'm just kind of wiping it across the top of this, so that I can dot this on there. And I'm just basically, like, covering up my red spot that I have, which is right there. And I like this brush to do it because it buffs it into the skin. And I'm just going to stick a little concealer into my eye. You know, everybody's worst nightmare is on the eye part. And I'm just sticking it around my nose. Okay, so I'm just a little right here because it looks a little red. So I like this to buff it in. And there's my dog snoring again. I mean, you guys are getting the whole shebang today with my son and the dog and all that great stuff. So I'm trying to work fast, but I don't go over to let you go over 10 minutes. Um, basically I'm taking, this is a Benefit product and it has three of their colors in it. 
and I'm going to be using this is Dallas. I'm going to be using this for my contour, and I'm going to use this is a Coralista. I'm going to use that for my my blush, and I think the other one in there is called Hula. So that's Hula. So I'm going to be using Dallas and Coralista. So this is a Sonia Kashuk angled brush again, Target buy, and I'm going to be um, patting that into the Dallas and tapping it off because we're going to do our contour first. And everybody knows like where your contour is. I'm hoping at this point. Um, we've been going over that a lot, so, and I'm just taking it on my contour into my hairline and up above and taking it on my contour and into my hairline, so, if it's easier for you to make the fish face to find your contour spot, that's perfectly fine, just make sure that you, um, really buff it out, I'm also going to take this and put it along my jaw right here just because this is going to give the effect of a thinner face and I always check that out that's um, Rossetti Beauty at blogspot.com and I'll list <clears throat> I'll list all what I used today on my face um, on the blog also so you guys can check that out if you want to know exactly what I use now I'm using Coralista with the Urban Decay blush brush and you're just going to do it on the apples, so smile, make a circular motion, and brush upward. And smile, and a circular motion, and blushing upward. I love you, Mommy. I love you, too. My helper. <laughs> okay, so basically now that I did that, I'm going to be taking, this is my um, Bare Minerals Kabuki, it's my little one, and I'm just going to go over my face just to smooth everything in, get down, and can I've already put, open? can you stop, I have already put on my chapstick, because I always do that first, so that your lips are ready later when you're going to be adding your lipstick, so, I mean, look at this finish on this makeup, I mean, I'm really, really, really impressed, and it's drugstore buy, you know, I like to try them out, basically for my, fo my for my finish, oh, it's not open, is it open? I did get the translucent number 001 translucent Revlon photo ready I'm trying to open it as I'm reading it to you um, translucent finisher okay so I'm opening this for you guys and it looks like this foundation brush for um, from Sonny Kashuk and I'm just gonna like dip it into that really lightly and I'm gonna put this stop mm -hmm on my face like very lightly just to set everything that we put on there because you don't want to put too much so you look powdery but you definitely want to set your makeup so that it lasts longer so I hope that you enjoyed this look um, you know I hope this helps some people who are interested in finding out about this foundation I know I was <clears throat> and um, if you have any questions or comments or any looks that you would like to see please let me know and uh, please rate and subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next video.